Hey everybody, your old pal JW here with another edition of Horror Quickies. And today we are doing Paul Ragsdale's Slasherette Party. Yeah. This is a very fun uh, 80s throwback style uh, slasher film and I did enjoy it very much. Um, basically, Brie has decided that she can't go through with the wedding to Dolph who is her fiance because quite frankly he's an asshole. Now before she can break up with him her girlfriends show up, her bridesmaids and her uh, maid of honor and they, and they kinda kinda kidnap her into a getaway in the woods in the, in the big like in a big house in the woods, big cabin and uh, basically it's the guys and the girls so she goes through it and she kind of decides maybe she can make it to give us a second chance but being this is a horror film one by one people start getting cacked off um, this is this movie has a lot of energy um, I'm not usually a fan of dream sequences in films because they have a tendency to be overused uh, the the opening the opening scene actually was pretty well done. It was simple yet it, 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 it served the purpose of the film and I liked it. Uh, like I said, they, in this film Paul Ragsdale did not overuse the dream sequence and I am very thankful for that and the scenes where he did that were dream sequences very well done. So uh, basically this movie uh, pretty much uh, I like a lot of the things they did in this film. There may have been one or two minor things that I felt like could have certain scenes that couldn't go smoother, but they're, they're just too minor for me even to mention, so let's just forget about it. Um, I liked how fun this movie was. I liked how it embraced the slasher 80s uh, throwback style. I really, really dug, I, I don't believe in spoilers. There's so much that I kind of want to say that I like that he did, uh, but, uh, you know, anyways. Uh, this movie does a pretty good job. Uh, w lately, I've noticed a trend where certain slasher films have a tendency to... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Basically, to throw in random kills. Now, don't get me wrong. There, there's nothing wrong with random kills, but I do think it means more when you at least introduce the character. Even if it's a minor character like uh, the guy playing the, the male stripper, he, he, Paul did. Paul Ragsdale did a good job of at least giving you a description of most of the characters and the ones that you didn't get to know well. You still he he had a way of of you knew who they were when they were dying. You know, it, it's it's you'd have to see the film to see what I'm talking about, but. There was another film I was watching where I didn't even remember the names of anybody that was killed. In this movie, I pretty much did. I mean, you know, even if I just refer them to them as the stripper guy. But, like I said, kudos for Paul for doing that, for, for making, making even some of the minor kills. You, you pretty much have a general idea of who they are. You're not, they, they don't just show up and say, hey, and they, ah! You know, so good for you, man. Anyways, um... I'm really bad at remembering how, I, how much I paid for some of these films, but uh, this was worth my money and I, I highly recommend it. If you like 80s style throwback slasher films, if you just generally like movies that embrace the fun and bloodshed, there is bloodshed, I highly recommend Slasherette Party. Now, this, ver this version here has to play movie, but you also have bloopers and outtakes. Uh, this this particular copy doesn't have a director's commentary or anything. I don't know if that's standard or there's another version you can get, but the bloopers and outtakes is very fun. I highly recommend it. The movie itself is fun. There's really, really, really pretty ladies and there's a lot of nice humor that gets worked out in the film. Anyways, yes. Final verdict, yes. Worth my time, and I think it's worth yours too. Well, 
this is gonna be a pretty quick one. I'm gonna have to actively try to seek out a movie I know I'm not gonna like. I'm joking about that, guys. Anyways, I'll see you next time on Horror Quickies.